Friendship multiplies the good in life and divides the evil. Baltasar Gration. Welcome back to the homestead, y'all. Since I've been working on the solar system for the chicken coop today, it has been raining. It's quit raining, so I thought I'd take a quick break and give you a breakdown of a solar system, how you can build one, just a simple 12-volt solar system. I have a 12-volt panel over here. I have a battery, I have a charge controller, a little light for a load with a toggle switch on it. So I can show you for practical purposes how you can build a solar panel, how you can put it on your chicken coop or your shed or your barn, and you can have lights out there for free. So let's go over here at the table. We'll wire up a solar system. If you're like me, you can read all the books you want. You can watch all the videos you want, but until you do something, you don't truly understand it. And that's the way I am. So hopefully after you watch this video, you'll be able to go out, you'll be able to get you a solar panel, a batteries, charge controller, and build your own solar system. So that way you can truly understand it. And then you can expand from there. That's what I did 25 years ago. I started with just one simple little small system, put lights on my shed, and now our homestead's completely off grid with wind and solar. So hopefully this will help you out, get you started, and get you into solar. I just put together the main components of a solar system, and I thought I would show you real quick how easy it is to wire it up. We'll take a solar panel, some batteries, charge controller, and a little 12 volt light here. We'll wire it up real quick. I don't have the fuses or the breakers to put in here for this system, but in practical application, you'd want to put a fuse or a breaker between every component. So you want to fuse between your solar panel and your charge controller, your batteries and your charge controller, and your load and your charge controller. So you want some kind of fuse or breaker in between those, so that way if there is a problem, it'll either trip the breaker or blow the fuse so you don't have a fire. But this is the main components of a solar system. Now this is for a 12 volt system, it's not for 120 volt. I'll probably do a video on that later, but there's a lot more regulations. You have to follow NEC code and that, and there's some dangers that you have to be careful of. Um, especially with grounding your 120 volts. But this is just a quick, simple little system. Of course, this would be grounded also. The DC side of it would be grounded. You'd want to put a ground post or uh, a ground plate and ground the system, uh, especially if you live in an area that's prone to a lot of lightning. But the main components of a solar system, of course, is a solar panel. I have this old panel here. This is an old 55 watt Siemens panel that I had laying around that I use for different little uh, mobile projects. These are two uh, six volt batteries. You can see I have a jumper between the positive and the negative on these. So by hooking them in series, I now have a 12 volt battery. So you could take a meter and go from your negative to positive and you would have 12 volts. I have a charge controller. This is just a small little 20 amp charge controller. And then I have a 12 volt light bulb on it. So let's go ahead and we'll wire this up. I'll show you how to wire it up and how easy it is to just wire in a simple light for a load, especially if you want a light for a shed or a chicken coop. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom the camera in down here to where you can see what I'm doing and we'll go ahead and build the system. Okay, so we have our charge controller here. You can see I have my solar positive and negative. I don't have this hooked to the solar panel just yet. I'll hook it up in a minute because most of your charge controllers recommend that you hook your batteries to your charge controller before your solar. But I already have the positive and negative, so you can see here it says solar on it. So I have the positive and negative hooked up. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and hook the positive and negative for the battery up. So if we look in the middle, you have battery positive and negative. Another thing I recommend is you always using an insulated screwdriver anytime you're working around electricity. But we'll go ahead and hook the positive up and tighten him up.
Okay. Now I don't have any ends that fit these, so I'm just gonna use an alligator clip real quick to clip that and just make sure you don't let the positive or negative side touch each other. And then we'll go to the other side. This is the battery negative. So we'll hook the negative in. Another thing I recommend is always using black or red wire. Use your red for your positive, black for your negative. If you don't have red wire, get some red electrical tape. If you use black wire on both ends of the wire, put red electrical tape. So that way you'll always know just looking at it that that's the positive side. So there's our negative for our battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook him up. I'll just use a quick alligator clip. Let him fall out the front. We'll hook him up. Okay, so we have our battery hooked up. Now you can see the charge controller is coming up. Of course, the battery only has 11.3 volts. So I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect the solar panel to it. So now you can see with the solar panel, it's showing the battery is half charged at 11.6 volts. Okay, now I have the light fixture with our little 12 volt LED corn cob light. I put a toggle switch in series with the positive wire going to the light. So that way we can turn the light on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the positive to the load side. So if you see on this end, it says load, positive, and negative. So we'll hook the positive up and tighten him up. And another thing I always do when I'm hooking these up in a practical application, I go back after I tighten all these, I wait about 15 to 20 minutes and I go back and tighten them again because your copper wire will let you tighten it just a little bit more and you don't want those to come loose because that'll create an arc or it'll increase your amperages. All right, so there's the negative side of our load. So if we look, we go back through this, we have our solar positive and negative, we have our battery positive and negative, and we have our load positive and negative. Now this has a low, low voltage disconnect also on this. So if the voltage is too low, this light won't come on. Depending on what the set point is, you can set it different things. So we have everything hooked up. Let's go to our toggle switch. We'll flip it and our light should come on. There it is. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.